Hello everyone, welcome back to the Looney Bin and uh, boy, if it, if it looks like I'm exhausted, I am tired, yes, because it is almost about 7 a.m. since the time I am recording this and uh, Niji Sanji apparently uh, tweeted out about an hour ago a bombshell that uh, they were basically terminating the contract of Selen, um, Selen Tatsuki who was part of their, you know, group for a long, long time, for the last couple of years now, um, July 2021. And um, yeah, yeah, they just sent out a termination letter. Um, and for the past month or so, there's been a lot of concern about Selene, what has happened to her. She hasn't posted anything. She hasn't streamed. She hasn't even said anything like even one of her, you know, closest friends couldn't even get in touch with her or anything like that. So it was really concerning. A lot of people were afraid. A lot of people just wanted to know like what happened to her. Um, but now we know that, um, it looked like. It looks like they suspended her for a bit for violating some sort of, you know, so, um, contract termination for activity rules, um, which, <laughs> according to what the, um, you know, the uh, statement that they posted said, it just sounds stupid. Um, so it, it, it's it's a lot to take in. It's three pages of stuff, and frankly, Niji Sanji um, has not been doing well the last several months to possibly year. now i've only been following niji sanji for the last year uh there's probably more stuff that has happened that i don't know about that i you know you're more than welcome to tell me in the comments below um in case i've missed anything but let's just say there has been a lot of infighting between the talents and management on the niji en side uh, it's also possible there was some on the niji J uh, jp side but i don't know much about that but there has been a lot of infighting. There has been a lot of, you know, miscommunication between management and Niji Ian to the point where it's just, it, it comes off as like really bad management on the part of Niji Sanji or any colors. And it has been well documented from many people online about just how bad Niji Sanji has become over the last several months. Selen um, was part and mostly affected by a lot of the Niji Sanji and management issues to the point where like they suspended her several times for doing certain stuff that maybe they didn't like and came off and they tried to make it come off as it was her fault. And that's one of one of the things that the statement uh, talks about is that they were trying to paint her as the issue, uh, despite the fact that Niji Sanji has not had a good track record in terms of management now i can't claim any of these allegations that they are making to selen as factual because you know i can't prove it i don't work with niji sanji all i can say is that these are these are allegations they're what we believe to think that it's on their side that they're the ones who are basically causing the issue and i have no no solid proof of any of this all I have is just information based on what has happened, uh, their own statements um, and stuff like that. So we'll take a look at the statement for a brief moment. We're not going through a lot of the things uh, on there because it is three pages long and it's frankly seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm tired as heck. Um, I was literally going to bed when I saw someone in the YouTube comments of one of my recent reaction videos tell me that, oh, you know, so they just announced that Solentotsky was terminated. So, but uh, let's just go through a little bit of this document just to see exactly what they said. And frankly, from my own personal opinion, it just seemed like they're attacking her to try to save face. So let's take a look at it. So notification of contract termination with Selentatsky. We sincerely appreciate your ongoing support of Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji Yen. It is great regret that we have to make the difficult decision to terminate our affiliation contract with Niji Sanji and Live with Selentatsky due to multiple breaches of contract and misleading statements on social platforms. That's going to be key because of what happened in the last month or so concerning that MV that she did post. Uh, 
any color has established activity rules that are affiliated libraries agreed to comply with. These rules are designed to prevent infringement of third party rights, leakage of confidential information belonging to any color or third party's damage to the reputation or credibility of third parties and other acts that may violate rights, engage in illegal activities, or involve socially condemned behaviors. As a company, we are confident in order to live accounted for our fans to join the long term and to create an environment where our affiliated libraries can safely perform their activities with the support of fans and various stakeholders. All right. So basically they're going through, you know, like the business and the, you know, the logistics of like as a company, there are rules that you can't break. And apparently, according to them, Solentotsky has constantly done this, right? Despite our best efforts to hold these rules, Solentotsky has repeatedly uh, violated the activity rules since joining Niji Sanji in July 2021. Her actions, violation of the key rules encompass a wide range of issues, such as non-compliance with rights confirmation, authorization flows, which could potentially lead to infringement for third-party rights, including copyrights. This violation also includes any authorized use of work and assets belonging to others affiliated with any color disregarding the intention of these parties. Basically, what that means is that she, um, she didn't get approval to use some of the copyrighted stuff, according to Niji Sanji, that, you know, she was allowed to post on her channel and post on her streams and stuff like that. Like she personally didn't get the rights that they would approve upon. Um, so, uh, front of all, there have been ongoing reports about inappropriate behavior by Sun Tusky throughout her time as Niji Sanji and Liver. Okay. As a company, we recognize these violations of the activities could damage the trust placed in Niji Sanji in. With all the rumors regarding the management of Niji Sanji in, I, it's very hard for like anyone to see how, like, you know, these type of rules could damage the trust placed in Niji Sanji if you're not having the greatest, you know, rumors or, you know, stuff told about your management. It's not, you, you can't blame that if a liver is violating your rules that, you know, they're the ones damaging when certain, you know, allegations against you are not great, you know? Uh, furthermore, we have considered the issue warnings to Zentatsky each time there was a violation of the activity rules. However, she repeatedly discarded these warnings often failed to reciprocate communication with the managers. Additionally, Zentatsky reported false or misleading information on social media. So, for the for the false information on the social media, basically what happened is that a month ago there was a thing. She posted an MV. You know, it was fine. Then it was taken down. It was privated by Niji Sanji because according to them, they didn't get the right copyright approval for her to post that video. Despite Selene herself stating that she did get the rights, that she did speak to management, that everything was okay for her to post. Unfortunately, according to Niji Sanji, that was not true. I don't know which side to believe in, but I would, you know, normally you would see the you know, the liver side more factual than, you know, the management side simply just because it just felt like with the rumors of Niji Sanji management being really bad, it seems like this is, you know, their fault. So she posted on social media talking about how unfair all of this was. And it got to the point where, you know, she was, you know, talking um, smack about Niji Sanji and how like it was unfair that she got approval and all that stuff and that they were being you know really petty about all this stuff you know that that kind of thing um there are certain tweets um unfortunately we can't access them anymore because they deleted all her tweets on her twitter account uh at least the last time i checked so well we can't i can't have that i'm sure it's posted somewhere online uh, but like I said, it's too, uh, I, I, all this is just coming at me real quick. I remember seeing those tweets a long time ago, uh, around Christmas time. So I, I know what they said, but you know, my memory is a little fuzzy, but basically she was not happy. And then she also told other people, third party people to repost the video on their channels and stuff like that, which in most contracts and concerning, um, you know, VTubers, a lot of that a lot of the times that kind of stuff doesn't you know go with what they sign with the contract basically or not necessarily with the contract but like you know their agreements with like people who do clips and stuff where you know reposting the entire you know thing is not allowed you know that's one of the whole life has that kind of rule and all that or v soldier probably has that rule as well so it, it's not uncommon to have that rule but at the end of the day it, it was wrong for Selene to suggest that. However, if the case is that Selene tried or, you know, got the approval and then they privated the video themselves, it just makes them come off as bad, you know? Um, 
so then probably shouldn't have you know told people you know to repost that video um so that was you know probably a mistake on her part like you know it, i understand uh, you know her frustration and what she was going through but at the end of the day that probably wasn't the best idea to do and i'm sure that she probably uh, regrets that specific you know thing that she's talking about that being said niji sanji you know that those rumors are just so so heavily on the company that it's very hard to take their word as you know face value because of like all these you know allegations against them and their horrible management um the next part is talking about um you know all the times that you know that caused the suspension of Sonatowski's activities. Uh, this is the one about the uh, video. With prior approval as required by the activity rules, the materials for the music video were shared for the first time with our management on December 24th. Since some elements of music lack proper authorization on December 25th, we communicated to Solentowski that permission needed to be obtained from relevant parties requesting her to wait before releasing. Despite this, Solentowski disregarded notice and proceeded with the unauthorized posting. This is their side. Understand that this is their words against Selene's words. So in a court of law, it's just going to go back and forth until somebody has some sort of receipt. Like if Selene has receipts, basically saying that, you know, the Niji EN management approved this and then she posted it, then this is all on Niji Sanji's fault. This is really their fault. But again, I'm not a lawyer. So, you know, I'm not, I'm only taking all of this on just what you know niji sanji and what selen has said on in her tweets and stuff like that so it's i'm i'm not trying to like get into any sort of uh, legal argument or anything like that some sort of uh you know legal issue because it's just this is just a frustrating situation all around you know I mean, it's supposed to make the music video private until all authorizations were confirmed from men. At the same time, the reasoning was clearly explained to Solentotsky. However, Solentotsky took to so social media, specifically X, making misleading statements that made essential context and notably managed as part of the song. Furthermore, Solentotsky's post includes a statement encouraging third parties to upload the music. Yeah. So, my personal opinion is that this probably wasn't the, you know, the greatest idea or the smartest thing for Totsky to say in this situation. But I could understand the frustration in regards to this. Um, in effort to conversation, we sought to either publicly disclose the reason for making the music video private or have someone Tatsuki disclose them himself. While being mindful of Tatsuki's physical and mental health management did their best to communicate with not only Tatsuki herself, but also her emergency contact. However, despite frequent communication with Selene Tatsuki emergency contact, while remaining considerate of her situation, we were unable to come to an agreement on how to proceed. The decision was made to never remove her access to her accounts. So basically, that's all... That, that information is basically why we haven't heard anything about Selene in the past month. They just prevented her from using any sort of social media, any sort of contact because they were upset about what she did. After attempting just to affirm Mrs. Rich communicating with the legal counsel representing Tatsuki, we conveyed the necessity for Tatsuki to inform the public of the reason behind the decision to make the music video private. Additionally, we expressed Tatsuki's expectation for future compliance with the activities from here on. Despite our efforts, selling Tatsuki in manner, any cause should be held legally uh, well, let me make sure because this is actually really important. Despite our efforts, Solen Tatsuki demanded that any color should be held legally responsible. She claimed that she was no longer able to engage in her activities as a liar due to her decisions made by any color, was being harassed by other affiliated libraries due to mismanagement while refusing to acknowledge her responsibility for violating the activity rules. Moreover, Solen Tatsuki insisted that if the negotiations did not progress, she would proceed to release a statement regarding her claims to the public. So, according to this, um, from them, they, 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 they're basically claiming that um, Selene was going to, um, because of their actions to their music video about privating it and stuff like that, as well as the harassment apparently by other talents, she was going to take legal action. And that is one of the more concerning parts about this whole you know statement. They are attacking Selene's character, despite the fact that literally in their statement, they talked about being harassed by other affiliated libraries. This doesn't mention what, who, or you know who the talent are that is causing this harassment, but it, they're literally talking about harassment. Like, oh my god, like that is really messed up. Like, if she was being harassed, if she was being bullied by other members, that should be that should have been taking the priority over anything else. Why in the world would not the management actually deal with that? That's like one of the things that you should definitely deal with that. You have a HR team to help deal with the situation. The fact that they're attacking a character and just 
you know, outright just ignoring the harassment, apparently, is so... Oh, that, see, this is what I mean when it's very hard to take Niji Sanji's management seriously because they literally talked about her harassment, didn't do anything, apparently, and just, you know, and now are blaming it on Selen for... Oh... This is, yeah, like, it's very hard to take Niji Sanji's, you know, management seriously with, with with the fact that he just literally just addressed it like this. It's, it's really baffling. I, oh, that's, that's a big no-no for me. Like, any sort of bullying and harassment is just a really big no-no, and they needed to address that immediately. If they did not address it at all, and she continually got harassed, that is a big, big problem. And that is something that really Niji Sanji needs to really get their ass on. If they want to stay as a goddamn VTuber agency, as a company, they need to change the culture there if literally she has been bullied for months or, and they did nothing in regards to it. And it's just insane that they're using it as a way to, you know, like, well, you know, she got harassed and, you know, it's not our responsibility that she got harassed by her life as, you know, it, it, Okay, maybe they didn't say it like that, but it just comes off like, my God, you have to, as management, you have to keep, you know, your talents happy. You got to keep your talents notified. You got to keep your talents, you know, make them understand, you know, the rules and stuff like that. But also, why would you, if you heard about the harassment allegations, why were you not stopping it? That's insane. Any code believes that the claim raised by Selene Tatsuka in fact referring to a situation that arose when she was one of our breaches of activity rules and attempts to shift responsibility for those violations. Which can cause damage in any color in Niji Sanji and that statement alone says, tells me and tells everybody else the same thing. They don't care. There was harassment apparently in the company, but they don't care because what Selene Tatsuki did could possibly damage any color in Niji Sanji Ian's image. What the fuck? Are you are you telling me that what she did just from a goddamn music video where or the activity rules was to you considered to be the most damaging part that would damage your image but not the harassment? You literally talk about the harassment in the last page and you're saying that wasn't damaging? I uh, uh, that's that that's that, that, that's an insane thought. Like holy crap. This led to the deterioration of the relationship between her and Nicole and all lives affiliated with any color. Any color firmly believes that we and the all lives on our place are not getting under the dark too. <laughs> you clearly talk about harassment and uh they're trying to they're trying to say that there was no sort of harassment or unjust practices towards Lentotsky. When everything we see and there is she did tweet from her alternate account that I will read in a bit. That this just seems really wrong on their side. Considering the ir irreparable damage to our company's reputation and threat to the ongoing activities of other affiliated libraries, we have concluded that the Ministry of Affiliated Controversy and Tusk was unavoidable. <sighs> the rest is just talking about, you know, talking about like how important she was and that, you know, activity was, was very important. Uh, they talk about her activities with C, so her YouTube membership will be closed and social media accounts will be made private. The uh, we pursued the activity uh, then you send B2 group obsidian will pursue the activities with Zemi and Petra Gurin. We just need like all those all the fans who supported Tatsuki. So uh, yeah the, uh, it's it's baffling to me that this company is really not run well. Um now we don't know anything about the details about exactly, you know, the harassment charges or you know the stuff that apparently uh, you know, Selene had to go to. We don't know anything about that. There's nothing in here that tells us about it. We don't know who the libraries are or anything like that. All we could do now is just make allegations and just um, theories. And so none of this, or we don't know any sort of concrete proof. But I do want to point out, like I mentioned before about Selene's alt account. She did post on it. Talking about this situation. Um, let me see if I can find it. I will not be silenced anymore in December. I was hospitalized for an attempt that was caused by both a bullying from within and being in a toxic and poor environment for numerous months that led to my breaking point. I requested to leave first, but on more neutral terms on January 26th. <sighs> so basically, Selene, um, or Doki Bird, I should refer to her now, it literally talks about bullying within the company that she was in, in the environment that she was in. And that, honestly, you know, th that's heartbreaking to hear. 
that that kind of stuff is happening Niji Sanji. Now Niji Sanji is saying, you know, it's their words against hers apparently. You know, Niji Sanji is not saying that um, there was any sort of harassment. They're saying they're denying or any of those allegations. With the company, you know, having many, many rumors and many issues regarding like poor management and Selene actually being hospitalized, which is so, 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 so sad to hear that she had to be hospitalized. Uh, because it, that's a very serious issue. If she had to be hospitalized because of bullying, that means that there is really a big problem with the Neji Sanji Ian. And frankly, it, it sucks. It really does suck. And um, I, hopefully she found the help that she needed because this is really terrible. It's terrible to think about the idea that there was bullying inside Neji Sanji. Um, whether it was from other libraries and management themselves, I'd more than likely. And she, you know, she has been suspended. She has been on you know unrightly suspended several times so it it's it's hard to take niji sanji's words when their actions speak louder than their words you know um she said she'll be returning here soon as I like to celebrate lunar new year with all of you the holiday means a lot to me and my chinese culture as someone that lived in china for a big portion of my life it should be the start of happiness and new begins so thankfully it looks like she's okay um there may be legal actions involved uh between both parties um, which I, you know, it, it, it sucks all around that there will possibly be legal, you know, things unless they, you know, terminate her contract on, I don't want to say good terms, mutual terms, which just basically means like, you know, all right, well, all right. If you want to be released, we'll release you. We won't, you know, pursue any legal issues. Uh, if you don't pursue legal issues as well, let's move on. That is it. That's not on positive note. It's not similar to like what happened with um, Mel, right? This is this is more like, yeah, all right, it's not working out. I won't sue you as long as you don't sue me. Bada beam, bada boom, we're gone. Done. That's what it feels like. That Because, like I said, I don't want to make any sort of allegations. I don't want to, you know, you know, point a finger at Niji Sanji Ian, you know. Right now, all of this is allegations. All of this is allegations. All of this is literally just, you know, Niji Sanji's side and then Selen's side. Me personally, I always would go for the, you know, the talent side because why would they lie? Why would they risk, you know, working for a company that brought them so much, you know, uh, engagement, so much notoriety? You know, why would they, you know, risk anything like that unless there was a big issue going on within the company? Um, now there are a few, now there is, you know, we can't truly believe anything until we find out more information. So until we find out more information, this is, like I said, he, uh, he, uh, he says, she says type of situation. These are currently allegations that there has been bullying, but with all the rumors, with all the ways that Niji Sanji has handled some of their, you know, talents has some of their, you know, uh, you know, you know people who work for them it's just really hard to take their word that's is what i'm trying to say overall this is a really shitty situation um i'm glad selen finally was able to be free from all the possible bullying that she had to experience and stuff like that um and who knows maybe more stuff will come to light i don't know who i don't know like who to truly believe and who is right uh i would still gonna go side with selen because of all the rumors of niji sanji as a company and like their management issues uh this is not me claiming they have those issues this is just from based off like all the rumors and all the allegations against them at the end of the day selen um we finally hear something from selen she was suspended apparently uh where they basically forced her to not do anything on social media which is really messed up in its own way they tried apparently you know pretend uh not pretend but like claim that there was no bullying happening but it, it, it all of this is just really hard to put uh, words into like i said i am tired it is seven o'clock in the morning i've been up um for a while now and just uh, we'll see what happens again i know this video probably isn't the best video to talk about this situation because like it, it, i need time to you know uh, get all this um put um you know take all this in before you know deciding on like whether or not who to who to trust at the end of the day i still trust selen and the talent over a company because companies tend to always try to save their butt which they literally you know mentioned in that um statement of theirs 
So, we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, um, it's, it's, it's a shitty situation, but I'm glad Selene is finally free and that now she will be able to do a lot more content and who knows where her paths will take, but I will be there to support her. If you want to follow her at Doki Bird, that's her alternate account. So definitely, uh, you know, definitely check her out from there. And, um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope for the best for Selene and Niji Sanji. This is very, this is, a, this is a very dangerous precedent for them. Um, if they continue doing this, they could literally be a foregone conclusion in terms of, um, the English brands or the company as a whole, because who knows how many more towns would decide to leave because Kyo is already graduated. You know, we had the Kyo announcement a while back. So God, 2024 is not a fantastic year for VTubers. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I am Ty.